Hi, my friends call me Lime and I want to help you perform even better in your videos and so let's talk about answering the unasked questions of your audience. Now an audience can be defined as people who watch a show or encounter a piece of art but you're probably not even listening to me right now because the only thing that you can think about at the moment is what's with the facial hair. Don't worry, it's not my new look, I just did it to make the point that sometimes your audience have questions that you need to address before they become ready to listen to you, especially if you haven't talked to that audience before or if you changed something big. So then let me take this opportunity to explain why I'm not using that second angle that I usually use. I've moved. So I haven't set everything up yet, I haven't put up the shelf that I used to get that angle, so that's why. So your challenge is to figure out what those questions are and address them. And luckily there's a comment section to most videos and there you'll find lots of clues. But they might not come in the form of questions though, I sometimes get comments about my accent and I take that as a suggestion that I need to explain that I'm from Sweden so that they can stop thinking about that and instead listen. Now if there is no comment section then you might need to ask around, other times you just need to think about it yourself and then you can ask yourself what might my audience react to about me, what might catch their attention distracting them from my message. Maybe you speak in a certain way like me, or maybe there's something about your appearance, the way you move, your history, maybe something in the background or so on. Find it and address it before you deliver your message. Don't apologize for it though, unless it's something to actually apologize for. Just address it, explain why it's there, maybe tell a story about it. Now, if you have a disease or an injury or if there's a variation about you that is apparent to your audience, then that is awesome because then you can address that in a way so that it works in your advantage, making your audience listen to you even more than they would if you didn't have that disease, injury or variation. Check out my first video about ethos to find out more about how that works. So now then I'm curious, what questions might you have for me? Tell me that in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.